so for every value or for all statements can be represented by this symbol so universal quantifiers can be represented by this symbol in quantifiers we have two types that is universal quantifier and existential quantifier if you are adding 5 6 7 the condition will be true so this is not apply for the universal quantifiers clear so any integer is either positive or negative these are the example for universal quantifier Hello everyone, I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyash from First Grade College, Mysuru. So today I am explaining the last topic in second unit called Mathematical Logic. So dear students already have completed all the topics in Mathematical Logic. So today I am explaining the next last topic in discrete transformation that is quantifier. So what is the meaning of this quantifier in discrete transformation? So before understanding the concept of quantifier, you have to learn the concept of predicates. So what is the meaning of this predicates? So this predicates express a wide range of statements in mathematics and computer science. So predicate means it is a wide range of statements in mathematics is it clear so now we have to understand that predicate logic so predicate means is a mathematical statements and what is this predicate logic so predicate logic is the extension of mathematical logic so predicate logic means is the extension of mathematical logic and it adds two parts that is predicates and quantifiers so it adds predicates and quantifiers so predicate means is a mathematical statements example for predicates example x is greater than 3 so here i have two parts first part and second part so first part is variable x so first part is variable x and the second part is so second part is x is greater than 3 x is called as first part that is variable and the second part is e is greater than 3 e is greater than 3 clear so x is greater than 3 in this statement, we have two parts that is variable x and greater than 3. So, this represents a predicate. This represents a predicate. So, this is a wide range of mathematical statements. And next part is quantifier. So, what is the meaning of this quantifiers? Quantifiers are word that refer to quantifies such as sum or all keep in mind quantifiers means it is a statements or word that refers to quantifies that sum or all it tells for how many elements a given predicate is true so this statement some statement or all statements gives that how many predicate is true clear so this quantifier represents sum or all I hope you know about the symbol all. So in quantifiers all the statements are true that means given predicate is true in quantifiers. So this is the definition of quantifiers. It is two marks question. What is the meaning of quantifiers? Quantifiers are word that refer to quantifies such that sum or all it tells for how many elements a given predicate is true. So what is quantifiers? Quantifiers are word that refers to quantifiers such as sum or all. It tells how many given elements are predicates are true. Is it clear? So in quantifiers all the elements, all the statements are true in quantifiers. Is it clear? And in quantifiers we have two types that is universal quantifier and extensional quantifier. There are two types of quantifier. First one is universal quantifier and extensional quantifier. So what is the meaning of this universal quantifier? So universal quantifier states that the statements 
with in its scope r true for every value of the specific variable so so this universal quantifier states that statements within its scope are true for every value of the specific variable so for every value or for all statements can be represented by this symbol so universal quantifiers can be represented by this symbol so p of x is true for all value of x in the universe of discourse that is it is written as for all for all x p of x for all x p of x is true i'll repeat for all x p of x is true this is an example for universal quantifiers so it is read as for every value of x p of x is true clear for every value of x p of x is true so this is called as universal quantifier so what is the meaning of universal quantifier so universal quantifier states that the statements within its scope are true for every value of the specific variable clear this is called as universal quantifier so this universal quantifiers can be represented by for every and for each or for all clear this is called as universal quantifiers i'll give some examples for universal quantifiers first example every apple is red second example all men are mortal and third example is any integer is either positive or negative so first you have to consider the statement let k of x is x is man that is the first statement i am considering and second statement l of x x is mortal and m of x is x is an integer and n of x is either positive or negative by using this statements you have to find the universal quantifier for the following examples every apple is red so first i'll take the example for apple is red so i'll take p is apple is red apple is red for this statement i can write the universal statement so here i am taking p is p statement is apple is red so for every apple is red is it clear so apple is red means that is a statement of p for every means it is a universal statement and next is all men are mortal so here by using this we can predict that k of x is equal to x is men and l of x is x is mortal so now i'll write the universal quantifier all men are mortal so men means it is a k of x all men are mortal mortal means it is l of x so this is an example for universal quantifiers and next is any integer is either positive or negative so first you have to consider this two statement m of x and n of x x is an integer so now any integer integer means it is m of x any integer is either positive or negative is either positive or negative means it is statement n of x so any integer is either positive or negative these are the example for universal quantifier and the next one we have the first problem and the next problem is the proposition for all natural numbers so here you have n plus 5 is greater than 4 is true clear so this is your question all natural numbers n plus 5 is greater than 4 so if you want to find the value is greater than 4 means you have to put n is equal to 1 so substitute the value of n here 1 plus 5 is greater than 4 it is true and 2 plus 5 is greater than 4 it is true 3 plus 5 greater than it's true also and 4 plus 5 greater than 4 so it is a true statement because all natural numbers 
n plus 5 is greater than 4. Such so statement is true. So this is an example for universal quantifiers because all natural numbers is greater than n plus 5 greater than 4. Clear? So here you have to conclude that x n plus 5 greater than 4 that is 1, 2, 3 up to n. So n plus 5 greater than 4 all natural numbers n plus 5 greater than 4 is true. This is an example for universal quantifiers. And next one we have the proposition for all n belongs to n. n plus 3 greater than 7 is false. We have to prove that statement is false. So here we have one statement n plus 3 is greater than 7 is true. Put n is equal to 1, 1 plus 3 is greater than 7, so it is false. Is it right? And 2 plus 3 is greater than 7, it is false. And 3 plus 3 greater than 7 is false only. But 4 plus 3 is greater than 7, statement is false. But 5 plus 3 greater than 7, condition is true. And 6 plus 3 greater than 7, condition is true. And 7 plus 3 con greater than 7, condition is true. But here we can't apply the value of n is equal to 5, 6 and 7. So 1, 2, 3, if you are changing the value of n is 1, 2, 3, so the condition is false. But if you are adding 5, 6, 7, the condition will be true. So this is not apply for the universal quantifiers. Clear? The proposition for all n belongs to n. n plus 3 is greater than 7 is false. So it is not equal to n. Clear? And the next topic is existential quantifiers. So first one we have studied universal quantifiers. And the last topic is existential quantifier. The existential quantification of P of X is the proposition there exists at least one X such that P of X is true. That, is, that means there exists there exist at least one of X such that P of X is true and is denoted by the notation called existential. Existential quantifier can be represented by the symbol existential quantifier. This is called as existential quantifier. The proposition existential quantifier x p of x is read as for some values of x p of x is true. For some value of p of x. But before we have studied universal quantifier that we have studied as for all, for every, for each like that we have studied in universal quantifier. But in existential quantifier so we can read it as for some values of x. So it can be represented by for some values of x, p of x is true. That is existential quantifiers. So this is a difference between universal and existential quantifiers. So in this problem, we have to prove that the proposition existential quantifier n belongs to n. So n plus 2 is less than 6. We have to prove that the statement is true. So put one n is equal to 1. So 1 plus 2 is less than 6. The statement is true. And 2 plus 2 less than 6. Statement true. And 3 plus 2 less than 6. So statement is true. 3 plus 2 less than 6. 4 plus 2 less than 6. And 5 plus 2 less than 6 is false. Is it clear? So now, till here, I got the statement as true. But after 5, 6, 7, 8, I'll get the statement is true. So, so I can conclude that for some value of x is true, for n plus 2 is less than 6. So for some value of n belongs to n, so n plus 2 is less than 6 is true. So for some value of x, I can conclude that the statement is true for some value. 
and the remaining value like y678 so it will be false statement clear so for some value of x means it is an existential quantifiers and the next one we have the proposition existential quantifiers n belongs to n n plus 7 is less than 5 is false let us understand with an example so n put n is equal to 1 so 1 plus 7 is less than 5 is it true or false it is false and 2 plus 7 less than 5 statement is false 3 plus 7 less than 5 the statement is false only 4 plus 7 less than 5 the statement is false clear so here i can conclude that for some value of x n belongs to n n plus 7 less than 5 is false only clear this is called existential quantifiers in quantifiers we have two types that is universal quantifier and existential quantifier so i have explained with an example you can use any other examples also so the last topic is negation of quantified statements so negation means what it is an opposite statement example for negation not every graph is connected so what is the meaning of that not every graph is connected every graph is connected so every graph is connected means it is a negation statement for a given statement right so what is a given statement not every graph is connected so negation is every graph is connected this is called as negation of statement for a given statement so every graph is connected so you can represent it by quantifier symbol every graph is connected so you can represent it by this variables or any variable so for every graph is connected this is called as negation of quantified statements so today you learned the concept of quantifiers and types of quantifiers that is universal and existential quantifiers and also you have studied the negation of quantified statements with this we have end of this unit 2 dear students mathematical logic is very simple but you have to think logically so definitely you can score in mathematical logic so in my next session i will come with a new concept called unit 3 mathematical induction thank you